Hello and welcome to Crack Suede. Today we are going to use and review a two year old custom room, the Curvus OS room and compare it with the latest Android 13 rooms. As one of our subscribers requested us to look at this room, we are excited to see how it stacks up against the latest offerings. Curvus OS is based on Android version 11 and will be testing version 16.7 which has Android security patch from July 2021. It is important to note that this patch is two years old than the current date and the Quicksilver kernel is used in this room. Although the build date is from July 29, 2021, we are going to test the ROM thoroughly to see how it performs. After we have analyzed the Curvus OS ROM, we will also compare it with the latest Android 13 ROMs. And I have installed this ROM on my Redmi Note 8. So without further ado, let's start the video and find out if the Curvus OS ROM is still worth it even after 2 years. User experience. Let's kick off by discussing one of the most important aspects of any room, the user experience. I have to say I'm really impressed. It's super smooth and responsive and there are no frustrating lags or delays when swiping down on the quick settings panel. That's a big plus in my book, especially since so many other Android 13 rooms seem to struggle with this. But what really stands out about this room is how quickly it opens and close app. It's noticeably faster and more responsive than many other custom rooms I have tried, which really makes a big difference in day to day use. Overall, I think the Curvus OS room provides a top notch user experience. It's fast, seamless and snappy, which makes using your device a joy. Camera. Now let's talk about the camera features of the Curvus OS ROM. It comes with the MIUI camera which is a great addition. Despite being an older ROM, it still offers all the essential camera modes including the popular 48 megapixel and portrait mode. And the best part is that all of these modes work flawlessly. If you are a fan of the Google camera app, you will be happy to know that you can use it on the Curvus OS ROM as well. It's a simple process to install the app and start using it to capture stunning photos. Google Photos Storage Moving on to storage, the Curvus OS ROM has a standout feature that's hard to ignore. Unlimited storage for Google Photos. This means that you can upload as many photos and videos as you want without worrying about running out of space on your device. It's a great way to enhance the user experience by eliminating storage limitations and allowing users to capture and store their memories without any worries. Launcher Speaking of the launcher, the Corvus OS ROM comes equipped with the Raven launcher which offers a range of essential and unique customizations. One of the features is the ability to hide apps from the home settings if you don't use them often or want to keep them private. And another exciting and cool feature that the Raven launcher offers is the swipe down to clear all recent options. When you enable this feature, instead of manually clearing each app from the recent section, you can now easily swipe down on any recent app to clear them all at once, saving you time and hassle which is similar to tapping the clear all button. It's a simple yet effective feature that improves your device multitasking experience. Talking about recent section, you'll notice that this room provides several options including screenshot, clear all, kill app and share button which is not something you see all of them together in many android 13 custom rooms additionally when you tap on any installed app you'll find useful options like app info split screen uninstall and freeform and some of today's android 13 custom rooms may offer an extra feature like kill app or full stop but overall the options are pretty similar across the board quick settings when it comes to the quick setting panel, this Curvus OS delivers a seamless experience. Unlike other Android 13 custom ROMs, you won't experience any lag while swiping down the quick setting panel. While this ROM is based on Android 11, you won't find a power menu shortcut at the footer section. However, the quick setting panel is still impressive with its array of useful tiles. You can take screenshots and partial screenshots just by toggling the screenshot tile and change themes with a tap. Additionally, you can toggle audio behavior to stereo or mono with a single tap and access other useful tiles like sound shorts, reboot, gaming mode, always on display, recorder, calculator and more. 
Overall, the quick setting panel of this room is impressive and offers a smooth experience with a wide range of useful tiles that make accessing certain features a breeze. Settings So now let's check what kind of customization options and settings are available in its settings section. Battery When it comes to battery setting, this Corvus OS has a unique and visually pleasing interface with some cool animations that are not commonly seen in other custom rooms. The battery setting offers some essential features such as battery saver and battery manager. However, the battery saver mode also has an extreme battery saver option that can help you stretch your battery life even further. Moreover, you will also find some battery overlays that provide detailed information about your battery uses including screen uses since the last full charge, battery capacity and more. These overlays are very useful if you want to keep track of your battery health and uses. display in the display settings you will find a variety of options including styles and wallpapers which are now located in the main menu section in android 13 under the styles and wallpapers section you can choose from variety of pre-installed wallpapers although custom color options are not available here the grid option allows you to choose a 16 to 6 sized grid giving you more control over the layout of your icons one of the stand out features in this section is the clock section where you can choose from a whopping 27 different lock styles to display on your lock screen it adds a touch of personalization to your device and looks really impressive oh and don't forget about the 106 different curves os wallpapers that you get to choose from it's a great way to freshen up the look of your device whenever you feel like it security When it comes to security this Corvus OS offers some useful features in its security settings one of them is the face unlock feature which allows you to unlock your device by scanning your face another useful feature is the app lock which lets you lock any app on your phone using a pattern pin or password adding an extra layer of security to your device moreover if you're concerned about the encryption of your device you can easily check its status in the security settings and the good news is that with this roam your device is encrypted by default ensuring your data remains safe and secure gestures in its system setting you will get gestures option from where you get swipe to screenshot option which you can take screenshot just by swiping three fingers down and after taking screenshot you can share edit and even delete it Xiaomi parts In its system setting you will also get a separate Xiaomi parts option which have similar features like in Android 13 but the interesting feature is this enable USB fast charge option which will charge your phone with up to 900 mA when connected to computer via a USB 3.0 port which is really a useful feature that is not present in Xiaomi parts nowadays Curvus setting Inside its settings section at top you will get curvus setting from where you can do lots of customizations on different sections on your device like on system lock screen status bar and hardware like on buttons you will also get lots of customizations and can customize your device according to your needs and i didn't explain every settings one by one as it will make video longer and all the settings are still present in android 13 roms as well so i did not explain each of them Antutu benchmark score Moving on to the benchmark performance we tested the Curvus OS with Antutu benchmark and to be honest this score didn't meet our expectations the benchmark score we received was only 190952 which is a bit lower than what we have seen on other custom rooms in this category while this score is not particularly impressive it's worth noting that benchmarks don't always reflect real old performance Factors like user experience, app compatibility and overall system stability can play a more significant role in determining the overall performance of a device. Nonetheless, if you are someone who heavily relies on benchmark scores, you may want to take note of this before considering the Curvus OS. Safety net status Let's wrap up our review by checking the safety net status of this room. Unfortunately, it did not pass the safety net compatibility test, which means that certain apps like Google Pay, banking apps and some games may not function properly. Additionally, the device is not certified in the Play Protect certification, which is another downside. However, we wanted to be transparent and share this information with you. Conclusion 
In conclusion, Corvus OS is an excellent custom ROM that provides users with a smooth and customizable Android experience. However, it's important to note that while some people claim it's a gaming ROM, it's actually focused on providing the best Android experience with tons of feature and customization. While it may show good performance for gaming compared to MIUI ROM, its benchmark score is lower than other custom ROMs based on Android 13. Overall, Corvus OS is a highly regarded custom ROM that was popular when it was first released. Although the development of this ROM has stopped, it still offers a lag-free and quick responsive Android 11 experience. If you are tired of constantly switching between Android 13 ROMs or don't require the latest security and features, then Corvus OS is definitely worth trying out. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any suggestions or questions, then you can leave it down in the comment section. And if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksoid. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.